Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kansas City Barbecue Channel. Today we're gonna to talk about how to prepare American style chicken wings and chicken legs. And I'm gonna show you some ways that you can prepare a great crowd pleaser for your next barbecue. So today we're gonna to cook our chicken wings and our chicken legs on an outdoor grill. And these uh, can be used as appetizers or you can even serve them as the main course. But before we get started, we have a list of ingredients for you that you'll need to make these chicken wings. Let's get started by cleaning our chicken. So to clean our chicken legs and chicken wings, first get a leg. We're going to brush this off and we're gonna to try to get underneath the skin here and rinse it and then shake the excess water off, put it in our bowl. The chicken wings, it's much the same. Brush them real good, get up underneath the skin Shake it off and stick it in the bowl. So one thing that is important whenever you're working with chicken or raw meats, you're going to want to make sure you wash your hands really good and make sure you have a clean area and that you use clean utensils so that you can avoid any kind of foodborne illnesses. Okay, so now that we have our chicken cleaned, it's time to make the rub. We're gonna make this rub to put on the chicken before we cook it, and it's going to add some extra spice. But to make the rub, I'm gonna ask my assistant, Andre, to go ahead and join us, and he's gonna show you exactly how to get this done. How's it going? All right, so we have all of our ingredients right here. Let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. So what you wanna do is you wanna take equal parts of each of the ingredients, the paprika, the um, salt, the garlic, and the pepper. And then we're gonna mix them in this small bowl here. Mm -hmm. So I'd go ahead and just use the one and a half milliliter. Of each? Yeah, of each, and then we'll, we'll add more later after we see what it looks like. And salt. Mm -hmm. uh, the same. Yeah, same amount. Okay, so as you can see in here, we just mix that around, it makes for a nice color. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to apply that to the chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for our chicken, we want to make sure that it's not too wet. Why is it important? The reason is, is that if it's too wet, the rub isn't going to soak into the skin and we're not going to get that great flavor. So we want to make sure we dry it a little just with mm -hmm. a paper towel and then we'll take some of this mm -hmm. and we're going to sprinkle it on and we're going to rub it in. And don't be afraid to put too much on. Just rub it in with your fingers like this. Get some up underneath the skin. And then once it's finished, we'll place it right here. Can I give you a hand? Yes, please. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. and make sure you add some more of that spice on there. It's, we can always make more. We have plenty of ingredients, so okay. toss it on there, divide. Okay. I just don't want to make a mess. No, around. don't worry about it. We'll clean it up later. Okay. Is it good? Yeah, it's fantastic. Oh. All right. Let's do another one. Let's do it with legs? Yeah, let's do a leg. The same. Same with thing. On the legs, make sure that you have this you have this skin right here that it's... pulls back. You want to make sure that you get up underneath there as well. Oh, so. good. That's dry enough. Okay. And what this does is when it's dry, it soaks into the skin. And then as it's cooking, mm -hmm. we're going to get a lot of this spicy flavor into the meat and without having to add a bunch of sauce later. Fantastic.
All right, so now that we have our rub applied to our chicken legs and our chicken wings, we're almost ready to go. But what I like to do is add a little bit of hot sauce. I use Tabasco just to give it a little bit of a kick. Cooking American barbecue is all about time and temperature. You can prepare meat in hundreds of different ways, but if your grill or your smoker isn't at the right temperature, or you don't have your timing correct, you can ruin all your hard work. This is why we prefer to use charcoal and wood chips instead of gas. So our temperature has hit 250 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 120 degrees Celsius. And once we hit that temperature, then we can start cooking our chicken. The, the idea here is that we want to cook our chicken low and slow. Lower temperature, slow cooking is gonna get us the best possible flavor for our chicken. So now that uh, our temperature's up, we'll go ahead and start adding some of this onto the grill. So the placement of the chicken is really important. You can hear it sizzle as it goes on the grates. We're gonna place the wings very close to each other on the grates. And this way, the heat stays underneath the chicken wings. It's sizzling as it goes on the grill. We like it when it's sizzling. We have all of our wings on this side. We're gonna put our legs on the other grates. So now they're, they're all spaced very close together so that the heat doesn't uh, escape. We keep all of it on the underside. And what we're looking for is a nice even cook. So all of our charcoal is laid out very evenly across the bottom. We have mostly briquettes, but we added a little bit of Kamada just to get it some heat because it's cold outside and uh, we wanna make sure we can maintain temperature. So now that we have our chicken placed, we're gonna close the grill up and then we're gonna let it cook. We'll check on it in about 15 minutes and we'll start to see whether the edges have started to get white and uh, that the cooking process has started. And then we'll decide whether to rotate the chicken. But for now, we'll close it back up and then we'll come back in a few minutes to take a look. So as we can see, smell, and hear, chicken's cooking pretty good. Um, as we look around, we're seeing a little bit of whiteness around the edges of the chicken. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and rotate it over, and we're just going to flip it directly over. And you see it's getting good grill marks there, but not burnt. We don't wanna burn it. Matter of fact, this one's probably a little bit too done. We want it to be brown, but not too much black. And we rotate it, keeping them pretty close together still. With the wings, we're going to rotate them and spread them out a little bit more so that some of the heat starts to work up through and between the, the wings. And once these are all rotated, we'll give them another several minutes Depending on the temperature and how well our charcoal is doing, it could be another uh, 10 minutes. It could be a little bit less. And you can start to see the white. And this means that the chicken on the inside is actually getting done. You can see some of the whiteness there, but it's not quite, not quite cooked all the way through. With the legs, we're gonna keep them a little bit closer together. And the reason is, is that the meat on the legs is much thicker, and so we need to get more penetration from the heat to cook all the way to the bone. And when we come back in about 10 minutes to check on them, we'll check the internal temperature using our internal thermometer, and we'll make sure that they're up to the right temperature. Once they are, then we'll start to add some barbecue sauce, and that'll just be the finishing touches before we take them off. So we'll let them go for now. They're all looking good, smelling fantastic. 
I'm gonna close up the grill and let them cook a little bit longer. So we went ahead and took some of our barbecue sauce and we put it in a pan just to get it heated up. We don't want the barbecue sauce to be cold when we put it on the chicken. But we checked some internal temperatures on our chicken and we'll, we'll see what the temperature says. We want an in, internal temperature of 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, right now we're hitting that temperature. So about 65 degrees Celsius is the minimum that you want for your chicken. And uh, our temperature gauge is telling us we've hit our internal temperature. So the chicken's safe to eat, but it's not quite ready yet. The important thing is, is we need to add some sauce just to give it some extra flavor. This is our sweet Memphis Marina sauce. And uh, it's a mild sauce, but for those who want a spicier chicken wing or chicken way at leg, they'll be able to add some spicier sauce on later. We're just gonna add this on really light just to add some color to our chicken wings. We'll do it really quick and just brush it on. And then we're gonna rotate these over and then brush the other side. So, you know, more barbecue sauce is good. You know, just throw it on there. Very rarely can you have too much sauce so we'll just brush this on. And then we're gonna rotate these over. And they're looking and smelling fantastic right now. Get this leg. One thing you'll notice is that a lot of your heat will start working its way to the center. And so the chicken legs and chicken wings that are on the outside you want to rotate them into the middle because the ones on the outside aren't getting as much heat as the ones on the inside. So let's add some more sauce on here. And once the sauce is on, we'll let them cook for just a few moments longer and then we'll start pulling them off. And you want to brush really fast because we don't want these to to get too black, the sauce will burn if we leave it on there too long. So we're gonna get these brushed and then pull them off. So as soon as Andre shows up with our tray, we'll pull them off and uh, start eating. Okay, so our chicken wings are ready. We're gonna start pulling them off. Andre went ahead and cleaned the tray from earlier. So we have a clean tray going to add these on here. Oh, they smell fantastic. Sometimes if you leave it on too long, you, you'll get a little bit too much black. We, a little bit of the black is good. It, it's just the barbecue sauce, but it, you don't want it too much. But we'll pull them off. They smell fantastic. You can hear them sizzling even as we pull them off. It's great stuff. And, uh, Quickly pull them out of here and then we got folks inside just waiting to eat. These are gonna be absolutely delicious. Okay, so we're back inside and the chicken wings are all finished. They look fantastic and uh, I'm pretty sure they taste great also. I'm gonna go ahead and bite into one and Wow, absolutely amazing. So, I hope your chicken wings turned out just as well as ours did. I'd like to invite you back. Make sure you like our channel. Come back and see us again as we take a look at more authentic American recipes. This is great stuff. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Uh, exactly. <laughs> that's what I, I was, that's what I was going for. <laughs>